All right, man. Well, let's go ahead and raise the fucking bores. Raise the motherfucking bars, boy. Hey, yo. You got six? Yeah. Raise the bars. Hey. 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 Raise the bars. Hey. hey. Raise, raise the bars. Yeah, I got six this week because, um, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Um, okay. I, had, I just had to pick another one because I was like, eh, that's cheating. I did mine super late last night and I was really tired. So, like, my night might not be great. I just kind of okay. came across things and picked things. I was tired. I picked things I thought were pretty cool that I just stumbled right, cool. on. cool. We'll see what we got. Oh, man, where's our other one that says uh, Iconoclash over here? What the fuck? I don't know, bro. Should be right here. Oh, you know what? I know what's happened to it. Let me fix it re real quick. Hold on. You just fix that, bro. Time out. Time out. Did you take hey. it off? Oh, oh I, I got, got rid of the, the other, other one. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fix it. It's going to take that one away again, bro. <laughs> no, it won't. Uh, there it there is. we go. All boom, right. boom, 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 <laughs> boom. Woo! Got right. it. Nevertheless. Right. Um, so, uh... <sighs> All right, we'll do one of yours. Oh, no, well, I'll start and finish since yeah. I got six. Yeah. All right, bro, go for it. All right, cops on my heels, but I'm beating down still. Chrome on my lap for these jackets out to kill. Feet size to kill. It's magic how I paint, how to paint pop the grill. Pop the clutch and squeal. Blades chop like kill Bill. This shit is tight, bro. This shit is real tight. Like, all these bars are good. Cops yeah. on my heels, but I'm beating down still. Chrome on my lap for these jackets out to kill. Feet size Shaquille, it's magic how to paint, pop the grill, pop the clutch and squeal, blades chop like kill Bill. Ugh. I don't know who this is. This shit is nasty, bro. Yeah. I'm going to kick that off with an 8.5. That's real good, bro. Wow. I, I, cool. I, I especially appreciate how they use such a simple rhyme as like still, kill, grill, but they made it intricate. Yeah. I feel and it. they said cool shit the whole time. Pop the clutch and squeal, blades chop like kill Bill. Like, that's, like <laughs> I think, I think. I think a lot of times simple rhymes can sound really good, but are also kind of like leading toward less impressive bars. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they did such a good job here of like making simple intricate still. I got. You. I really appreciate this. I really like this. Who is this? This is Schaefer the Dark Lord. Is no, it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was about to say, should I applaud you, bro? Like, I, I give you props, bro. Like, that's real good. No, I'm going to get you, but not, okay. that was not Schaefer. This okay. is an artist I've never heard of called Staley. 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 Stally? Stally? I don't know. S T A L L E Y. The song's called Swangin'. This shit's tight, bro. I like this a lot. Yep. I think that's real cool. I don't know who he is, but shout out to Stally. That is, uh, that, I thought that was a dope. Uh, I salute you, bro. That shit, that shit was dope. <laughs> All right. Boop, boop, boom. All right. Raise the bars. I feel like we should like have something in the background. Raise, raise the bars. The break, break, bar. raise the bars. Raise all right, go ahead. Raise the bars. Them. Like, um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> We're just having fun now. That little beat that he uses, I like it. Um, with poetic justice, poetic justice. How do you say that? W don't tell me. With poetic justice, poetic justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy. There's blood in my pen. Mm. That's some uh, emo shit right there. <laughs> this, is, this dude's fucking ugh, deep in the dumps. <laughs> With poetic justice, poetic justice. If I've told you a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy. There's blood in my pen. It's pretty tight, though. I do like it. That second line is super dope. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? That's, That's tight. That's a good line. That bro. That's, really why good line. That's why I picked it. That's why I picked it. I really like that. I would give this... This is pretty dope. I'd like to... It makes me curious about the rest of the song. For that reason, I'll give it an eight. This is Kendrick Lamar. It's oh, from a cool. song called Poetic Justice. It was a big radio single. I thought oh, you might cool. catch it. No. With Poetic Justice. Poetic Justice. If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy. There's blood in my pen. Like, that shit is, I love it. Mm, I rapped it better. I, I agree. Thank you. No, Kendrick's <laughs> my guy. You know that. Uh, no, that's cool. I, I tr truthfully the, though, if that's how he raps it, I really didn't li don't like it as much. Well, I will say, um, the if if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? His album is called Good Kid, Mad City, mm -hmm. and it's about him trying to come up and be a good person in the middle of like the city of L.A. where everything's fucked up. Mm -hmm. And so that's what he so he's talking about him being a flower mm -hmm. blooming in the dark room. Like, would I you, got you. Can you trust me? Yeah, like, that's dope. Am I trustworthy? You know what I'm saying? Like, so I like that he layered. Not only is that a good line, but it layers with his album concept. Yeah, I feel I like that. that a lot. I like that too. All right, man. Good choice. I, I liked it. All right, here you go. 
Bitch, I'll be that dirty motherfucker six days in the bl- in the back. Six dames in the back. Six blades in the pack. I don't give a fuck about thoughts on me. Six days in the back while I'm still on a track. This is not good. <laughs> Bitch, I'll be that dirty motherfucker six days in the back. Six dames in the back. Six blades in the pack. I don't give about thoughts on me. Six days in the back while I'm still on a track. It's not horrible, but I don't really like it. Like the... the The six days in the back, dames in the back, blades in the pack is okay. The thoughts on me I don't like. I I don't like the next part either. Um, Five. I think that's fair. I think this shit sucks. Um, (laughs) But I I did like the the first, like, two technically there. The first two were all right. It seems like that should have been one, but when I was chopping, I was like, "Eh, there, there, uh, there wasn't a bar in between or... In front of or behind it, that would have made this better. So this seems like a shitty song. Um, the song's called Fuck Y'all Hoes from the band or group or artist, I don't know, named Germ. I don't know. Never heard of Germ. I'm not impressed by this really, though. Fuck you, Germ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go all the way there, but I wasn't really feeling it either. Said, I'm with he, you. He said, fuck you, Germ. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Germ. <laughs> all right. No, it's fair enough, though. I mean, I, you know, what, what more can you say? It wasn't bad. It just fit my scheme. That's all right. See, it's easy as cake, simple as whistling Dixie. While I'm waving the pistol at 60 Christians against me. Go to war with the Mormons. Take a bath with the Catholics. I'm in holy water. No wonder they're trying to hold me under longer. <clears throat> in holy water. No wonder they're trying to hold me under longer. Probably more like that. In holy water. No wonder they're trying to hold me under longer. See, it's easy as cake, simple as whistling Dixie while I'm waving the pistol at 60 Christians against me. Go to war with the Mormons, take a bath with the Catholics and holy water. No wonder they try to hold me under longer. Some shit like that, right? Something like that. <laughs> it's close. Uh, what's up? Oh, monks. Oh, sorry. I made the chat so tiny. Oh. Yo, what's good, my guys? What up, monks? What's up, monks? Um, this is cool. I like this. This is really dope. Um. See, it's easy as cake, simple as whistling Dixie while I'm waving the pistol at 60 Christians against me. That those two lines made me think it's Eminem. Go to war with the Mormons, take a bath with the Catholics, and holy water no wonder they try to hold me under longer. But the last two make me think it's not because they it kind of falls apart. <laughs> I don't think Eminem would have allowed that. But that said, this is pretty tight. Um, I'll give this a seven point five. Seven point five. Yeah. See, it's as easy as cake. Simple as whistling Dixie while I'm waving a pistol with 60 Christians against me. Go to war with the Mormons. Take the, take a bath with the Catholics and holy water. No wonder they try to hold me under longer. I'm a motherfucking spiteful, delightful Eiffel, the new ice cube. Motherfuckers hate to like you. What did I do? I'm just a kid from the gutter. It's Eminem off of Renegade, bro. All right. <laughs> All right, this is like, like his verses on this are some of his best verses ever, bro. Really? Like, they're so good. Okay. There's a whole bunch of good shit in this, but like, right. I like that. Yeah, I mean, you could kind of like, it's so strange. It's funny. Can... I knew that you were going to not like that last one. Yeah. And I love that last one, but I think it helps if you hear him do it. Yeah, of course. It's going to help. Holy water, no wonder they try to hold me under longer. I'm a motherfucking spiteful. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just hits it just all right. And ugh, oh. I'm an um, animal. Monks was thinking it was Yellow Wolf. Because of the whistling Dixie. That's what, mm, That's a good one. I, I, I can see how that happens. All right, man. Here you go. Can't tell me shit about the tricks of this trade. Switchblade with a little switch to switch blades and a switch from a 6 to a 16 inch blade. Shit's a samurai sword, a sensei. Can't tell me shit about the tricks of this trade. Switchblade with a little switch to switch blades and switch from a 6 to a 16 inch blade. Shit's like a samurai sword, a sensei. That's Eminem, isn't it? Mm. It's Eminem. <laughs> I, know, I, this, I think it's from a D12 song. Um, <laughs> that shit is fucking extremely dope. <laughs> Can't tell me shit about the tricks of this trade. Switchblade with a little switch to switch blades. A switch from a 6 to a 16 inch blade. Shit's like a samurai sword. A sense that shit is so good. God damn. <laughs> I see we're going with the sixes, right? That's what we're doing here? No, that's a good... Uh, I noticed that one in the last one. Um, that's just that shit was good, bro. This shit is very tight. I feel bad because, like, I know who it is, but <laughs> it's all right, man. Give it what you think. It I'm going I'm to be really honest here, bro. I've never, like, I obviously am aware of what this is on some level. I can't tell you what the song is or whatever, but I obviously can pick that out and tell you it's Eminem. I feel confident about that. Um, I've never noticed these lyrics to be this tight, but reading this now. Yeah. You ready for it? Yeah. 10. Oh, pretty, 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 pretty. 
first one ever right there. That's a 10, bro. That shit's a fucking 10, bro. That is a that is That's a fucking man. 10, bro. I think that's a that's a good choice. That's a 10, bro. <laughs> you are right. It is Eminem from a D12 song. The song's called Rap Game. Rap Game, yeah. Can't tell me shit about the tricks of this trade. Switchblade with a little switch. The switchblade's a switch from a 6 to a 16-inch blade. Shit's like a samurai sword, a sensei. That shit is good, uh, goddamn, bro. From, the, uh, from beginning to end. Goosebumps like, and shit reading it, bro. This shit is good. The whole, like, those last two lines were a switch from a 6 to a 16-inch 16 16 blade. blade. Like, this oh shit's my like a samurai sword. A uh, sensei? That, oh, my God, bro. That shit is so... <laughs> that's so well written. I love how he uses switchblade so many different, like... Switchblade with a little switch to switch blades, a switch from a six to a sixteen inch. Like, oh, damn, fuck, that's so good, bro. <laughs> I've never even like noticed that. Yeah, to be like great bars until I read it. Yeah, that shit is. Super I'm reading dope. that, and that shit is fucking phenomenal. <laughs> ten, first ten we've ever think, given out. I think that deserves is that it. Fair? Yeah, that's I'm, a good one, right? I may have given it a ten as well. That's a ten. That's a ten, bro. That's some good shit. I'm, I've never heard the song, but I'm gonna listen. It's a good one. Yeah. Dude, I was listening to Eminem this past week. Um, I think it's got 50 Cent on it, too. That um, Slim Shady uh, 25th anniversary came out. Yeah. And I've just been listening. 15? I think it's 20th. Oh, yeah. it's XV, isn't it? No, it's... It's 20th. Yeah, XV would have been 20, 15. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It came it? out in 97 or 98. No, Eminem or... Uh, God damn it. You're talking look. about the one with the two discs, the one with the hockey mask, and the one with the V? No. New um, chainsaws and shit. Slim Shady 25th anniversary. Oh, you, I thought I thought you were talking about the the Shady 20th anniversary. Like they have a Shady Records. Hmm. Like they have a compilation. Oh no, out. that's what I thought you were talking about. No, it was the Slim Shady LP like 25th what, anniversary, 20th anniversary. I got what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Anyways, the point is, I've been listening to that. Like I was just bumping brain damage yesterday. That song was so. Ever fucking since God. Dale's born. God damn it. Drugs with the sales <laughs> on. That shit is so tight. But um, it has like some expanded edition. I guess it has some extra shit at the end. I haven't checked it out yet. The rest of the shit. That's a great album. Yeah, like bonus tracks. There's an acapella version of Hazardous Youth and Greg. I don't know. I've never heard any of this shit. I didn't know he had a song on the Wild Wild West soundtrack. You haven't heard that song, Bad Guys Always Die? No. Oh, that song is amazing, bro. Yeah. It's him and Dr. Dre. Okay. And it's like, uh, it's Eminem like back in his prime and they're doing like, they're rapping about the Wild Wild West. And they call him Doc Loveless. Like, um... Mm. And they're like fighting and shit. It's so tight. You, it's like a story. You got to listen right. to it. You got to listen. It's really, really good. It's Eminem back when he was like at his best. Like, All right. I'll definitely check it yeah. out. All right. Here we go. Swimming laps around a bottle of Louis the 13th. Jumping off a mountain into the... Ah, oh, fuck. Swimming laps around a bottle of Louis the 13th. Jumping off a mountain into a sea of codeine. I'm at the top of the top, but, I, but still I climb. And if I should ever fall, the ground will turn to wine. Swimming laps around a bottle of Louis the 13th. Jumping off a mountain into a sea of codeine. I'm at the top of the top, but I still climb. And if I should ever fall, the ground will turn to wine. Hmm. Trying to say they're like, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Take your fucking Jesus, whoever you are. All right. I don't know if that's actually where this is going, but I see why you said that. Swimming laps around a bottle of Louis the 13th. I don't know what that means, but it just, I love how that. Liquor. I love how that like rolls off the tongue or just the, the way my, my lips move when I say that right. sentence. Swimming laps around a bottle, bottle of Louis the Thirteenth, <laughs> jumping off a mountain into a sea of codeine. Um, I'm at the top of the top, but still I climb. And if I should ever fall, the ground will turn to wine. Or maybe they're saying, if I should ever fall, the ground will turn to wine, saying that they're gonna fall and they're gonna bleed everywhere, and it's gonna look like red wine. Ooh, ooh. I don't know, man. This seems deeper than what I what the lyrics give it credit for. So, out of context, I, I'm sure I don't appreciate it as much as I could. As far as just bo those four bars alone, I don't think they're the greatest. I would give this like a, I don't know, a five. Not, I don't think it's exceptional. Look, we're just reading it. Um, this is Lil Wayne. It's from a song called "I Feel Like Dying," and the whole song is talking about like struggling with drug use mm. and depression. Okay, and like. How you use drug use to get yeah. the depression, but then the depression causes you more drug, like the cycle. And like, I don't know. It's kind of deep. So that's why I chose it. Um, I don't know that any of these bars are really that great either. But okay. I think like the concept of them and what they kind of mean is more impactful. Sure. That's what but, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I, yeah, but I, I mean, I, you, got I, that mean I don't know how you could have put that together. Either, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's fair. Oh, well, okay. I got that vibe, man. Yeah. That's what I would give a, a Lil Wayne verse. Bro, I gave out a 10 today. <laughs> that's pretty good. I've never done that. Hopefully you do it again. Here you go. Got more lyrics than the church. Got oh lords. And he hold the mic in your attention like two swords or even one with two blades on it. Hey, you, don't touch the mic. It's like 
like it's AIDS on him. <laughs> All right, hold on. Got more lyrics than the church got. Oh, lords. And he told, and he hold the mic and your attention like two swords. He holds your mic, the mic and your attention like two swords. That's pretty good. <laughs> or even one with two blades on it. Hey, you, don't touch the mic like it's AIDS on it. This is cool. Um, I don't know if it's like super great, but there are definitely things that I like about it. So, um, like the, the first bar is my least favorite. The second bar is my favorite. Hold the mic and your attention like two swords. That's pretty tight. Or even one with two blades on it. Hey, you don't touch the mic like it's AIDS on it. That's all right. Um, I'll give it a 6.5. I like the second bar a lot. The other two are, or the other three are me. Sure. This is a song called Accordion by Mad Villain. I'm not really all that familiar with Mad Villain. That second bar is sweet, though. Yeah. Is it Mad Villain the dude that, um, I want to say is, uh, fuck. Never mind. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. There's some like, um, Dr. or MF Doom. Isn't that like the same dude? I don't know. Did you see his MF Doom just came out like in an interview and he said something about he doesn't even like hip hop. He doesn't listen to hip hop. He only does it for money. Oh, okay. It kind of like made me like, get the fuck out of here, you <laughs> fucking culture vulture. Like, that's fucked up to say, but I mean, whatever. there's things that I haven't liked about MF Doom prior to now. Oh, really? Like, I think I've always thought he's rap well. Hmm. So I won't knock him for that, but like, him sending doppelgangers to his shows and masks and rapping for him. Like if I pay money to come see you and it's not you, like I get that you're being like kind of cool and like doing a thing except for like, you're kind of a shitty person. It's like stealing my money, bro. Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. That's right? not cool. I'm not into that. Hmm. But like, yeah, I saw MF doom. Not really. Yeah. Like that... that's not cool. Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. Yeah. I don't like, know. I don't like, know much about the guy. He's... I don't, I don't know a whole lot about him, but like, I like I said, there's been a few things about him that I haven't fucked with, but I don't but know Mad Villain, so I don't know if Mad Villain's related. I, I looking at the I looked at the album cover when I looked at these bars and it looked like some MF Doom shit. I don't know if it's the same guy or different group or what. No, that second bar is tight though. So Mad yeah. Villain, whoever you are, I'm rocking with that. That shit was tight. <laughs> All right, here we go. Crack mothers, crack babies, and AIDS patients. Young bloods can't spell, but they could rock you in PlayStation. This new math is whipping motherfuckers ass. You want to know how to rhyme? You better learn how to add. Hmm. Let me read that again. Crack mothers, crack babies, and AIDS patients. Young bloods can't spell, but they could rock you in PlayStation. Young bloods can't spell. Hmm. Okay. This new math is whipping motherfuckers' ass. You want to know how to rhyme? You better learn how to add. I don't know what they're saying here. It's like a mystery. Let me think. Hmm. Young bloods can't spell, but they could rock. I like that they rhymed AIDS patients with PlayStation. That's the one shining <laughs> star in this uh, quartet. Um, I don't know what they're saying. This new math. That's weird. But they're talking about spelling and math and adding. Man, I don't know. Uh, this These bars, as far, I'll stop analyzing it because I, I have a feeling I will not put two and two together just by reading it over and over again. But... Um, it's not bad. Um, I like the eighth patient's PlayStation thing, but I don't love it. I would give this a five again. This is uh most deaf from a song called mathematics. Mm -hmm. Um, I've not heard it. Okay. I kind of just came across these bars and I don't really know what it's about either. And I kind of had the same thought. I just kind of liked it. Okay. So like, that was like one of those things where it was like, I didn't really know why I liked it. Okay. So I can't really judge your perception at all. <laughs> yeah. um, I haven't heard the song, but I the, the young bloods can't spell, but they can rock you on PlayStation was my favorite. Yeah, that's well. I that like that tight. line. <laughs> that was tight as shit. Because I get what he's saying. He's yeah. talking about uh, you know. I think I th I mean my guess here, and I don't know, but my assumption here is we're talking about people are getting fucking dumb. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. And that sounds like something most F would say. <laughs> yeah. But Seems like I he's maybe cool. like talking about the hood or some shit, you know. I would probably give it like a seven, but I five like it's fair, whatever. I don't think there's anything exceptional about it. I can't knock that. All right, there you go, bro. If I don't kill you, just know you're going to suffer this time. I ain't no gangster, but I got some bangers, some chains and some blades and a couple of nines, choppers and jammies, a partridge, a pear tree, my 12 days of Christmas with nothing but lies. This shit is pretty tight. <laughs> if I don't kill you, just know you're going to suffer this time. I ain't no gangster, but I got some bangers, some chains and some blades, and a couple of nines, choppers and jammies, a partridge, a pear tree. My 12 days of Christmas was nothing but lies. It flows so good. I don't really know that any of the bars are really that good. I just, I think it flows. It sounds fun to say. Let's put it that way. Um, some chains and some blades and a couple of nines, choppers and jammies, a partridge, a pear tree. My 12 days of Christmas was nothing but lies. Like, it just flows good. Yeah. Um, I don't really think any of these bars are great. 
but it sounds good. I agree. So I'll give it a six. All right. It's your boy, Junior, Junior Lucas. Song called Lucky You. <laughs> is that what this is from? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, it, I think it's the part where he's like rapping all fast and shit. Like you can't That's probably out. why it's so. <laughs> the, the partridge pear tree. 12 days of Christmas is kind of cool. Yeah. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like it sounds so good to say, but like, I don't know. He really said shit here. Yeah. I feel you. But it's cool. I, I mean, it's cool. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. All right, man. This is your last one for me. Yep. Raw, I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. Raw like cocaine straight from Bolivia. My hip-hop will rock and shock the nation like the Emancipation Proclamation. Ooh, I like that. Huh. Raw, I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. Raw, I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. I'm trying to rhyme give it to you with no trivia. I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. Rock like co- Raw like cocaine straight from Bolivia. My rap. Or my hip hop will rock and shock the nation like the Emancipation Proclamation. Sounds like some old shit, maybe. <laughs> All right, I could pick that out. Um, my hip hop will rock and shock the nation. Like that line right there is kind of a giveaway. No one would say that like today. My hip hop will rock and shock the nation like the Emancipation <laughs> Proclamation. I mean, for it being old shit, it's pretty tight, honestly. Raw, I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. Raw like cocaine straight from Bolivia. My hip-hop will rock and shock the nation like the Emancipation Proclamation. R- Ryman, r- rock and shock the nation with proclamation is tight. I like that a lot. I'll give this a 7.5. This is pretty dope. I think that's fair. This is a uh, You God from the Wu-Tang Clan. Okay. Yeah, I fuck with this. Yeah, this is a pretty dope shirt. I like the, like, raw, I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. Bro, like cocaine straight from Bolivia. Yeah, like, I like that, that shit. That's just smooth as shit. Like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. ooh, ooh. <laughs> grip it with the sauce on that one, bro. <laughs> All right, here's the bonus sixth one. There you go. Now when I turn my knock up, I'm banging your block up without picking my Glock up and raising my stock up. I got haters on lock up. Boy, they slang a rock up and banging Machiavelli seven, cracking, my, cranking my pock up. Ugh, the scheme is nasty. <laughs> now when I turn my knock up, I'm banging your block up. Without picking my Glock up, I'm raising my stock up. I got haters on lock up. Boy, they slang a rock up. And banging Machiavelli 7, cranking my pock up. That shit, it's pretty good, bro. We're going to give it a just fucking 8. Yeah, okay. I like that shit. This is a song called Chopping Blades by the UGK. Um, UGK is sweet. I'm pretty sure this is Bun B. Bun B is sweet. I like Bumby more than Pimp C. Rest in peace, Pimp C. I still like you, but... Bumby, Pimp C, and Timothy. (laughs) That's from uh, Big Pimp, right? Big Pimp and Spin and Cheese. cheese. I'm thinking... Big Pimp and (laughs) B-L-A-D's. We talking... Big pimpin' out in NYC. NYC. It's just that Jigga man, Pimp C and B U M B. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck with that. Yeah, that's my only favorite. My, that is my favorite Jay Z song. Jay Z's got a few good ones. <laughs> I'm not a huge Jay Z fan, but he's got songs I like. I like 99 Problems. You know what I'm saying? Right. I like. He's got joints that I like. I feel you. All right, bro. Um, that shit was cool though. <clears throat> well, let's go ahead and. Uh, we fucking... gave a ten today, bro. That's you gave me some... ten bars. I'm you glad. gave them to me. I'm happy about that. I'm happy you gave them to fuck me. Yeah. No, no, I, I want to give something a ten. Don't uh, just give it. Don't just. Don't I know. just give it to give it, bro. I mean, there's definitely been some bars I probably that you gave me. I probably should have given it ten. I was just kind of hesitant because I ju- I didn't know like where the bar was. I feel literally. bad that I gave that when I knew what it was. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't but think like, it's bad. But if I'm looking at that, that was ten bars, bro. Like, I think if anyone any rapper that, deserves, that deserves a ten, a it's 10. gonna be Eminem. That you shit know? deserved a ten. I, I I can't not give it to him just because I know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that was a ten. I, I'm with you, bro. Plus, if you could pick it out out of the millions of songs out there, that's I mean, that's still pretty impressive. That shit was good. You're picking out four random bars that I picked out of thin air, you know? That shit was good. Oh, thanks for listening to watching your show and stuff. Yeah, make sure you uh, like, share, subscribe, comment on your all of your social networks. And yeah. Subscribe on YouTube. Facebook, subscribe Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube, please. All that shit, man. Check us out. Fuck with us. We fucking with you. Iconoclash.net. Boy. <laughs> <laughs>